Hello, my name is Jose Ojeda, and on this tutorial I'm going to show you how to build the release application in Xamarin Android. So, it's kind of funny, but the documentation doesn't say too much about the final build. And actually what I do is I do a little trick so I can get the APK, but I might be wrong, but I have not found any official documentation on how to create the release build. So this is the way I do it. Let's go to summary. And I'm going to create a new solution. An Android application. I'm going to name, leave this as it is and go next. I'm going to put it under the default folder. And let me show you something. What the official documentation says. First, the release options. Well, first, uh, they suggest you to to disable the debugging on the manifest. I'm oh, sorry, in the in the assembly information. So I'm going to do this for that. Let's go to properties here, and we can put this anywhere. and save it. Then you have to set up the icon, but I already do that. I already did that, sorry. Um, you have to set the version, but that's not important. This is the tricky part. You have to set up or configure the linker. So let's go to the properties, options in in Summer in the Studio. So here, right now is using share mono runtime and fast assembly deployment. So this is the debug setting. So you have to set it to the release settings that are a little bit different, you'll see. So the share mono runtime is not uh, checked. So it's going to, to because that checkbox, what it does is if the runtime is already installed in the device, it doesn't install it again. So it can save time every time you build and debug. And the other thing is that fast deployment do almost the same. Uh, it only create a package without the assembly. So you don't have to, to, to copy it into the device again. So, um, the release settings ship a copy of the mono runtime and build the assemblies within the application. So let's go to the linker. In here, uh, if you select the VU, it doesn't link anything because it, it used the runtime that is already on the, on the device. But if you use release, you have to select link SDK assembles only. Because if you use all assemblies, link all the assemblies, the APK is going to be huge, like 40 megabytes or something like that. So this, in this case, you will only use the ones that you're using in your code. The other ones are going to be, the other ones are going to be removed. So, in advance, right now, there's nothing checked here, but let's go again to the general settings. You have to select release, nothing should be checked in here. 
the linker you should select link assemblies only and on advanced there is another part of the tutorial let's go to my notes if you go here and paste this it tells you um, everything you need to know regarding the architectures of the CPU so uh, if you add more architectures the release is going to be bigger in size so in here, for example, these are these are 64-bit uh, CPU support, but you don't need it because a 32-bit application runs on 64 bits. So there are only few special cases where you need 64 CPU support. So if you take a look to this line, this will be the default architecture you should you should select. So let's go on to that and let's build the release. Now you should be wondering where it is. So if you go to the, let's see, to the It should be here on the application output, but I'm going to rebuild. Oh, I have to select this release. Rebuild. Sorry, I select release build, but in the options, not here. So let's go to the output. Hmm. That's fine, but it should say something there. But let's go to the source folder. So in here, you might think that you should find the APK here, but it's not, and it's supposed to be here in the object directory, but it's not. I don't know why this happened. I haven't found any official documentation regarding this, but there is a little trick I do. Uh, I try to set up, try to run the release uh, code on the emulator. And after you do that, it will create the APK. Otherwise, it won't create an APK. I don't really know why and I haven't found any documentation regarding that. I keep doing my research about it, but uh, or try to ask Samarin about it because I haven't found anything yet. So this deployment is going to fail because the CPU architecture uh, selected is an AMR, I believe. ARM, sorry. And that architecture is not valid for, for the emulator. So let's double check. ARM. So it didn't run, but if you go here, you'll see that it created the APK on the bin release folder. And before that, it was created on the object here. Here and finally in here. It create the APK. So let's go to the folders. Now you, we have it here. And if we go here to the release folder, I think it's not here anymore because it moves the file to this directory, but let's double check. Oh, here it is. 
but let's use this one because this one I already know for sure that it's going to work on the other emulators and on real devices. So this is the final APK that is going to work on the real device. And if you double check the size, it's really small. It's only 3.8 megabytes. So that's my trick to build the release APK using Xamarin Studio. Thank you for your time. And if you have any doubts, you can write me in the comments of this video. Thank you again. Bye bye.